so please let me know if i am audible to everyone <clears throat> just say yes or i mean type yes so am i audible okay so now everyone is saying that am i or i i am audible to them perfect great so it's 11 one i think we are good to go just to start this session so people are still joining no worries um because we have the recording also if you need and if you require we have already created one uh, the questionnaire form uh after the session i will be circulating with you all so that any query that you have regarding the session so uh, i i believe because you know during the session it's not uh, possible uh, maybe just to give the answers to each and every question but do not worry uh, the form which i will be circulating to you just drop your query in that particular form we will get back to you and then definitely we will uh, give the reply or give the solution of it right so do not worry about that just concentrate on the session try to little bit interactive when i'll ask few questions okay and um, <clears throat> so i will be covering like you know in today's session what all that you will get to know so first let's start with this slide that says microsoft in education correct so what is basically the idea or uh, the intent of microsoft is because this training that we are conducting that is on behalf of microsoft itself we are conducting we are the microsoft learning part training partner and uh, this chance is also given to us just to conduct the session on accessibility as well as on coding also so we will be taking the sessions on coding as well so i hope you must have received all the links related to the coding Uh, uh as well if not you can just mail us at uh, info at the rate uh, cyberdictiontechnology.com after the session we will provide you each and everything do not worry correct uh so it first what exactly the microsoft intends just to accomplish the mission of empowering the students and educators to do more and to integrate the teaching and learning experience with technology fine so basically our intention is also the same so that is why we are just providing a number of sessions to you all just to make you comfortable that how you can conduct uh, the session effectively uh, using microsoft tools because we all know from the past 2 years last 2 years say what we were doing we were just uh, like you know giving the uh, lectures taking the sessions through online and now i believe each and every faculty member it's uh, like you know confident enough in using the it tools yes so that's why there are a number of other things available so i will be guiding you on that now uh, the session it's on related to increasing the accessibility and fostering the inclusive classroom correct so first of all that question that comes into our mind what is that uh, inclusive uh, uh maybe like you know the classroom or what do you mean by inclusive here so inclusive learning experiences first if we talk about that is different for every student okay why because just to build an accessible learning experience uh, educators must be aware of the barriers to access and the variety of solutions available because moreover some of our Is struggling like with a number of tools, with a number of methods. That what all methods we have. So I will be taking you through one by one. So the very first is what we will be learning here. What are the basically idea behind it? First is how to create a connected learning experience that bridges learning with the home and community. Second, how to cultivate lifelong skills that foster greater independence. Third. how to build systems and structures that reduce barriers uh, to learning and aid learners with organization how to build a foundation for a personalized learning experience with appropriate hardware 
and uh, excess of like you know timely data to select meaningful inventions that is basically a inclusive learning experience and we will be starting here so let me also introduce myself that uh, we are from cyber addiction uh, technologies private limited we are an authorized education global training partner and uh, i am um uh, Microsoft certified trainer. I have already uh, cleared like a number of certifications, couple of certifications like uh, the MCP, MCTS, MCPD, and I'm also a global mentor Minecraft. So there are few uh, Twitter handles are given. If you uh, like, you know, after the session, obviously you will be receiving one certificate and uh, that you need to share maybe on the social websites. So you can just tag us also. So so that we can or you can share your experience by tagging us as well. Yeah. Now the first is empowerment begins with inclusion and we all know that for all the educators. Uh, diversity demands they provide inclusive accessible learning environment that inspire the confidence and encourage the independence. Correct. So students would rather go without than stand out. We need to move from assuming access to ensuring access in classrooms. That is all how it is important that we need to basically do it with the help of or we need to understand the problem. Uh, I mean, maybe like you know the students are facing because for educators each and every student is important, right? That is how it is important. And uh, uh, the second thing is let us start with the independent learning here. So accessible technologies help students with disabilities unlock their full potential by addressing a diversity of needs because in our classroom, maybe we have a number of students or different uh, types of students, right? Those few of the students, they may have a learning or maybe you know problem. We, we called it as a dyslexia or maybe they have a visual problem like because of low vision, blind, color blind. Maybe some of them, they have the hearing problem. They would not be able to hear it properly. The mobility problem, neurodiversity, mental health, right? Uh, so how we, I mean, being an educator, how we are going to take care of all these, right? That is also very important. So what are tools available to us uh, that we can easily do it? Correct, so that is also important. Now uh, if we talk about. If we talk about uh, the. Features for every classroom, if we talk about the accessibility sway, so this is basically the link that you have. So uh, our team member will also going to copy this particular link and they will share with you all. So do not worry about that as well. So they will be uh, sharing and keep guiding you and uh, keep posting all the uh, useful links to you all so that later on after the session you can access all these links timely. OK, so that is uh, very important. Fine, so I am just uh, requesting my team member just to share all the useful links. So there is basically a link that says the accessibility sway. So there is a presentation. If you just open it, it will redirect to uh, one of the presentation here. I'll just uh, show you. This is basically a Microsoft sway and uh, here you will find all the accessibility related features that's given to us. Uh, we have the mobility features, hearing features, mental health, cognitive, vision, speech. So all these features are available to uh, us. OK. And now uh, what we have, so basically. Uh, this way you can refer later on also after the session. So everything gets mentioned here, whatever we are covering today, the Azure, uh, the cognitive services, as well as the speech uh, dictation, seeing AI, fine. So everything gets mentioned here in this particular uh, sway presentation. Okay. Now, 
Um, <clears throat> So some are saying that if the session it's not been started, so please you need to log in and then try to click on that particular link because it's already started and people that they have already joined in, right? And uh, uh, like it's clearly, I mean the screen is also visible to everyone so that we have confirmed. And in case if there is any issue, please check at your end. Uh, maybe there is an issue. So what you need to do, you need to re-log in uh, that particular Teams and you need to click uh, that uh, link again fine and do not worry about the certificate because after the session I will be guiding you how you will get that as well fine so please do not uh, uh, maybe ask this question again and again regarding the certificate do not worry after the session I will be guiding you everything okay now um, Uh, we'll come back to this uh, presentation here. So this is basically this way. Now, what is the today's agenda we will be covering? First is creating accessible content, inclusive reading, inclusive writing, inclusive math, inclusive communication, inclusive apps, and then the closing, correct? So uh, closing basically what at the time of closing? Yes, I'll just take few of the questions also as well as I will also guide you regarding the certificate regarding you know few of the links that we have. We will be sharing each and everything, right? So do not worry about that. Now uh, the next is your. Accessible. Content now the inclusive classroom. So these are the four main parameters that we have. The first is obviously we need to put more focus towards the reading. So what all tools available for the reading purpose so that we will uh, let you know. The second is your writing. So how good you are like you know in writing or maybe some students they are not good in writing, but how they will then submit their assignments to the teacher and how the teacher is going to understand what the student has submitted, right? So that is why here again we have few tools and uh, then probably you would be able to uh, use it. Now let's say that next one is your math. Now math tools are also available for the mathematics uh, teacher for mathematics student, right? And then the communication, how we can communicate effectively with each other during the classroom or during the session also, and how we can collaborate like with each other, how we can share uh, the documents with each other. So that's a part of related to that communication as well. So there are few other tools I will be guiding you. So the very first is creating accessible content. There is one option that we have and we call it as a accessibility checker, right? Now the accessibility checker here. Um, the accessibility checker here, what it says basically the alternative text, the reading order, the slide title, header rows, text contrast. Fine, so that is basically there and then the uh, we have the inclusive reading. So reading is let's say this is basically the content that we have, right? Uh, somebody has written or maybe like you can say the uh, you have just copied uh, the document and you have pasted there in the one note. Now you want that uh, it should be. Uh, like you know uh, basically. Or maybe you can say student is not comfortable in reading the entire paragraph. So how he can practice himself? So that is important, right? So how he can practice basically that is important. So basically for that they can use immersive reader. So there is one good feature that we have and we call it as a immersive reader. So how we can open that immersive reader? So let us see. So immersive reader is really a game changer in a special uh, like you know education classes so that system will read out the entire content for all the student for each and every type of student. That is one thing. OK, second is basically. Uh, second is like how they are going to. Uh, how they are going to. Connect with each other. That is also very important, but in that case, let me just go through. Uh, the true purpose of education is to create possibility. It was a little hard for me. People laugh whenever I read sometimes. Well, they knew how to read, and I didn't. I will 
will never be good at reading, I will probably be held back again. It highlights the words to know where I am. When it's reading, I see spaces between the words. And it's easy to focus on. The first time I actually could read that book, I was proud of myself. I was very proud of myself. Good job, Joey. <laughs> when technology and education come together, possibility becomes reality. I want to read every book in here. Yeah, so this is like one of the video where we have just shown like, you know, how it basically helps uh, the immersive reader, right? So next is this graph or the table. What all tools available? Like uh, if we talk about the immersive reader, so there is a read aloud and the word line highlighting feature like OneNote. It's available for desktop. It's there for online. OneNote, it's for app, for iOS, for Mac. It's all available. So this is basically a complete chart, right? The syllables, line focus, parts of speech, translation, picture dictionary. So where it's all available and where it's not available. So basically you will get an idea from this particular graph. So this is again a link which I will just request to uh, my uh, team member just to paste this link with you all so that you can also uh, follow or get this particular flyer link there. All right, so they will share with you. Do not worry. Now the next is your. Um, So now the next is your basically how you are going to use it. So the link which we are going to copy and then uh, please paste it there in the chat window so that they can also go through this link and they can open the uh, flyer and they will get this particular table. Yeah. Now, where else can we find the immersive reader? So before getting into it, let me just show you practical uh, of it. What I'll do, I'll just open the uh, browser here. Let me open it. So I'm going to open the office.com. So basically this is the URL, the office.com that you can access and you can sign in with your ID the official ID, the work or the school account if you have. If you do not have and you want to use it with your Hotmail ID, you can also do it uh, with uh, the Hotmail or the Outlook account, right? So that you can probably do it. Now next is I'm going to enter, let's say the ID here. Okay, and here I'm going to enter the password. Uh, okay, let me just go. So maybe the password it's been. Yeah, here we go. So once we have entered the password, we have all these many tools. Let me open the Microsoft Teams here first. So I'll just show you the immersive reader that how effectively you can open it. So Teams, as we all know, this is like one of the common platform uh, or maybe you can say that uh, through which you can connect with your students or you can take all the classes like you know remotely. So basically this is a remote learning tool. Uh, through which you can conduct your classes effectively because this is totally based on, you know, from the academic perspective. You will find each and everything, all the uh, facilities, all the features uh, in this Microsoft Teams itself. Now you see that these all are your virtual classes that we have created, correct? Now in this, uh, let's say I have just opened a BSc first year and here, Let's say I'm going to share one assignment with the student. We can do that and I'm going to add a OneNote also here. So which we were just discussing. So OneNote is one of the digital notebook that you can add it or you can integrate it within the teams itself. 
if you want to access it like you know from the windows 10 that is also possible you can do that let me create one uh, like you know the dummy notebook okay so i'm going to create one dummy notebook here and i'm going to click on save yeah so it is just setting up like a new tab where the one note it's been uh, integrated it is going to open it Okay, now here we go. Now let's say I have a content with me. I'm going to take a content, let's say on photosynthesis or maybe let's say the artificial intelligence. It's a hot topic. Artificial intelligence. Okay, so I can just open it and let me copy the content from here. I'll go back to my teams. Let's say I'm going to paste it. Now the, the uh, content it's basically here it is very less, but let's say I'm going to paste it a number of times. Now this is the whole paragraph or the entire content that you want to read or maybe the student want to read. So first at times maybe student is not comfortable like you know how to pronounce. Maybe student is not comfortable like you know how to uh, basically give uh, an idea and how to speak uh, effectively. So in that case it will be better if you will just listen first. Uh, the entire content or the uh, the paragraph. So how he can do? He can just achieve this with the help of uh, the feature that is immersive reader, right? So what I'll do, I'll just open this immersive reader and it will open this particular window. It will give you a few of the tips. So I will also let you know what all tips that we have. If you want to open it in a full screen mode, that is also possible, right? Now you, there you have a play button. So let me just click on artificial play. intelligence. AI refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machine. Correct. So if I just pause in between, you can also uh, maybe <clears throat> revise or do the quick recap of this whole uh, like, you know, paragraph or maybe this line. See artificial intelligence, even educators can explain uh, the meaning of these two line and then she can further proceed. Correct that are programmed to think like humans and mimics. So what all features that we have here, that is the voice setting. If you think that voice is little high or maybe the speed is high, so what you can do, you can increase or decrease the speed as well. If you feel that you want to change the voice selection, maybe the male voice that you want, so you can select the male voice here and then click on play button. It will implement machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. So that is much better, I think. If you want that, uh, maybe some students they would not be able to, <clears throat> or maybe they have their vision problem. So you want to change the theme according to uh, their need. So what you can do, you can go to that uh, text preferences, and here you have uh, several themes, right? So you can select any of the theme. Let's say I'll just select a dark theme. So some of the students that are comfortable with this theme. You can select the font as well from here. If you want to increase the space in between the words, you can. So for a better clarity, let's say. Yeah, if you want to increase the text size, that is also possible. We can do that. Correct and yes, show the source formatting. If you want to show the formatting part, that is also possible. If not, then you can toggle it off. Correct. There is one more good option that we have. We call it as a syllables. What is that syllables? At time student feels that this word is really very difficult to pronounce how to pronounce it. So what do you need to do in that case? You can just toggle it on. OK, and you see that it's bifurcated like uh, the artificial. So now the student can pronounce quickly and easily. That is like artificial. Isn't it so she can or he can? I mean, the students can learn uh, this way as well as the parts of speech. If you want to highlight like all the nouns you can do. I mean, you can toggle it on and then you can basically uh, see the verbs or maybe the adjectives. You can highlight the adverbs. If you want to show the labels like the nouns or the adjectives that you have, you can easily switch it on. OK, all the tabs here. So first thing is this. This is really very interesting for the English educators also. Let's say they have the paragraph where they need to highlight all the nouns and uh, the adjectives and the verbs so they can use this feature, correct? And 
One more thing that we have, we call it as a reading preference or the line focus, right? So when we click on it, there we have a good uh, feature. We call it as a picture dictionary. So at time, let's say we want to visualize that I um, mean a uh, few of the words like you know how the mind looks like. So it will give you the uh, picture or the image of that particular word. So that is also very important. Let's say the artificial. It gives you the image of that artificial as well. Let's say if you click on machine, so it will give you the image of machine so that students can easily visualize and student can easily learn like you know these difficult words by <clears throat> capturing these uh, images and it will be there in their mind so that they can easily recall that yes now this particular word it's not difficult for me because I can easily visualize and I can recall that difficult word. So one or two more things that we very important here. The one is the visualization. The second is the syllables, right? And the immersive reader that we already have here. Correct. Now the next one is uh, one more that is the translate. This is again one of the good feature we have. Let's say a few of the educators, uh, uh, maybe they are using uh, this paragraph in English they have copied and then they have pasted or maybe there is a declamation competition. There is a rhyme main competition rhyme competition. So what you need to do in that case if they need to uh, participate maybe in any other language, let's say in French or maybe in Hindi, but they have the paragraph uh, or maybe the rhyme is ready in English or maybe that particular paragraph uh, when there is a declamation competition. So that paragraph is also ready. So how quickly they can translate, isn't it? So that is the good part for the students also. What they can do or maybe for their better understanding, they want to translate the paragraph, the whole paragraph in Hindi first. They will understand and then accordingly they'll try to understand or uh, like, you know, uh, the paragraph which is there in English. So let me select a language from here. So you will find like you know n number of languages are mentioned here like uh, mm, I mean there are n number of languages. Let me select Hindi here. OK, now how you would like to translate maybe the whole maybe the word by word or maybe like like the whole document. So let me translate the whole document here so easily it will be translated and after that student can prepare in Hindi also so that they can present this basically in Hindi as well. And the best part is if you want to play it will artificial repeat. intelligence AI on machine me manav buddhi ke simulation ko sandarbhit karta hai jo manushyo ki tarah sochne aur unke karyo ki. So it will read the entire paragraph in Hindi as well. So it's nothing like that that we are just teaching them on the in English. Maybe some are comfortable in Hindi so they can go back to home and they can translate. They can understand then they can come up with their own ideas with their own thoughts and how they are going to share their own thoughts, how they're going to share their own views. So for that we have one of the application and we call it as a Flipgrid. So one of the application that we may use or uh, I mean within our classrooms and that we call it as a uh, flip grid. So I'm just going to write this. That is the flip grid. So flip grid is one of the tool where students can upload their videos. Students can upload their ideas. They can upload their um, or they can share their thoughts basically in the form of uh, video also in the form of because why at time what happened the student they feel they are not comfortable like you know just to explain the whole uh, paragraph in the class itself. They need some uh, attention maybe or they need some silence. Basically they want to sit and then they can record their video. And after that they can share it there in the Flipgrid so that others can listen. Even you can listen and then you can give a feedback to them. So this is one of the uh, good tool that we have here. That is the Flipgrid. So let us go back. So you have the immersive reader feature here. OK, so. Where else can we find this immersive reader? So not only in teams we have. So immersive reader feature it's available in most of the applications now. So where it's available, I'll just show you. 
the first one it's available in the minecraft so minecraft is the gaming based education uh, education uh, edition that we have or a uh, software fine so they can use the minecraft effectively where all the subject wise tools and the lesson plans are available in that particular site okay so we'll share this site also uh, so please team just share the website of this minecraft also so in this case i'll just open the minecraft also for you just a better look uh, let me open it that is education dot So let's say this is the official site that you uh, will get and uh, what you can do it here. So this is basically uh, what you can type uh, the education. OK, I'm just going slowly a little bit so that you can also uh, note it down and you can also keep it for your reference. So there is a site that we have that is education.minecraft.net and you can open it. Now, if you just scroll down a little bit, you will find all the uh, resources here, right? The 500 plus lesson plans, immersive worlds, challenges, curriculum, all at your fingertips. So you can click on these resources so that it will show you as well as you have. To download or maybe if you want to download this particular software and you have the ID with you, you can um, use the office 365 id or maybe if you have the hotmail but with the hotmail account that you will be getting only the trial version all right so that is all there and how it works uh, basically get started you will find everything related to the educator parents it admins camps and clubs so you can use it you can try even that if you just click on learn more fine so you will find all the teaching and learning activities so how learn to play or maybe the kids, the build challenges, everything it's available, right? So you can just go through. There are some uh, tutorials also available. You can go through all the tutorials as well, right? These all are the uh, lessons across subjects. Let's say if you are a, a mathematic teacher, so how effectively you can use this Minecraft. So you can use or click on this mathematic tool and you will find all the uh, tools and lesson plans and the resources correct so let's say you are explaining in your class that is area and volume so with minecraft how you can teach to fifth grade student and believe me students will also enjoy and they will also be able to understand very quickly because nowadays it's very difficult as online just to tell them or maybe to calculate the area and volume or maybe uh, just to tell them the decimal or the fraction isn't it so we can use it and uh, then effectively you can show or you can use all these lesson plans fine these all are the words uh, you can easily if you want a detailed uh, explanation on it you can connect with us so that we can plan a session for you so that accordingly we can conduct the uh, session on this minecraft in detail correct or maybe the few guidelines that if you want i can even share with you all as well Correct. Now uh, the next one is your so that is how the immersive reader it's there like there is an uh, particular NPC the non player character who is going to explain you everything uh, or maybe who is going to explain you about this particular the area and volume chapter what all there so you can use this icon that is the immersive reader when you click on it so it will read the entire content automatically for you and for your students. Isn't it? So when you click on it, it will load and then it's, it will again redirect to the same window that is the immersive reader and it will play the content for the student. So you can use the picture dictionary even there also that I have just shown to you. Isn't it? So we can do it in this way. Now um, <clears throat> the this particular immersive reader, it's again uh, available there in the Microsoft form. Correct now in this Microsoft form. So you have that particular uh, feature that is the immersive reader. Let's say you have given one paragraph to the student and um, 
on the basis of that paragraph, you have given few questions also to them just to uh, solve. So first they want to listen the entire paragraph. So what they need to do, they need to click on this particular icon. OK, this is again the immersive reader. It will again open into that immersive reader window and then they can particularly go with that. Now there are some immersive reader for third party that is the cognitive services. So if you're aware of the Azure.com there you will find some of the uh, cognitive services also. Let me open that window uh, for you. Uh, what you need to do just open the portal.azure.com. Right, so it will open that particular window and uh, it will take you through all the cognitive services that you have. Um, maybe later. So now you see if you just go or scroll down, you have all the uh, cognitive services here. Like let's say if you click on more services, right? And here you have the. Or maybe you can search for the cognitive services as well. Let me search. Yeah, so these all are the cognitive services like for face recognition for AI. Uh, like the artificial intelligence because CDSC has also introduced the artificial intelligence, right? So for that you will be requiring one cloud of cloud space. So this Azure portal is the cloud based software system or the cloud storage where you can upload your projects. You can uh, uh, use all the resources, find so n number of things. It's available there in the Azure. So that is how you'll see that when you click on this uh, cognitive services, it will show you everything like maybe if you are using a speech service, you can use this. Maybe if you want to use the language service, you can use this. And even the best part is uh, the. Uh, <coughs> uh, the for the student uh, like you know access the student benefits. So you uh, the students they may they may get you know the free software or the Azure credit or everything you know the free of cost so you can try it maybe later on. So that is the site that we have or we call it as a portal dot Azure dot com. So you can try this link again and then you can. Access. Next is your um, dyslexia awareness curriculum that is also available in that uh, uh, learn dot Microsoft dot com. So earlier it was education dot Microsoft dot com. So I will be guiding you even on that also that how you can redeem the code, how you will get the certificate, how you can do all the courses fine. So you all can uh, avail all this particular opportunity uh, from one common site or the URL that we call it as a learn dot Microsoft dot com. So there you will find one of the course that is NEC made by dyslexia fine. So you can uh, access this and then you can go through this particular course. Now that was related to the reading inclusive reading where we talked about what the immersive reader and all that immersive reader feature it's available in Microsoft Word also. Isn't it? So let's say if I have opened this Microsoft home, I'm going to open the word document and let's say uh, there is one document. Let's say the chapter five that I have and here. This is the chapter five. Now let's say I want to use the immersive reader here also so you can go to this view tab and here we have the option of immersive reader, right? So you can even open it. Maybe in any of the application like uh, office application like word PowerPoint. So immersive reader it's like you know available even there also. So that was totally related to the inclusive reading. Now we will come to the second part that is inclusive writing because writing is also uh, a kind of barrier for like you know the students. Maybe some of some students are not comfortable in uh, writing uh, and they want to type. Maybe maybe they are good in typing. Maybe uh, they are good like they have their stylus or maybe the touch uh, pad uh, uh, like you know screen so that they can write it there and then automatically it will convert into a beautiful handwriting. So I will show you that as well. So now if you go to this inclusive writing. So some of these students they were like you know or maybe uh, they hate writing. So the learning tools transformed writing for our pupils, right? So this is just one of the statement here. Now you see 
uh, I mean, there are different types of writing style or handwriting styles where the students are not comfortable, but there is basically a problem with the teacher, how the teacher is going to assess, isn't it? Because this is just a story or a planning sheet for a nine year old boy who is uh, having this problem that is dyslexic. So how he would be able to write? So that is the main problem. So beginning, like if you see at the beginning how he was writing, but at the end now he would be able to write it in this way, isn't it? At the beginning he was writing in this way, but now at the end he was able to write it more clearly so that teacher can understand and teacher can even give the marks uh, to the student on the basis of like, you know, proper checking and everything. So that is also very important to understand uh, like you know from the student perspective because there are n number of tools. If we really guide them, if we really help them, they can easily uh, do it right or they can easily access all these applications and then they can easily work on it. Now uh, there is a question like you know somebody has requested. I just want to take it here because maybe it will help uh, to others also that they're asking whether to activate teams. We need a organizational mail ID or a personal Gmail ID is enough. See, uh, basically there are uh, there are two things in this. Uh, if you want to activate your teams, maybe uh, you want to use it. So there is a Hotmail uh, or the Outlook account. If you have, you can uh, use it with that as well as well as the educational licenses like A1 if we talk about that is again free of cost for the schools, right? So you can connect with us and uh, we will help you out in generating the IDs and everything and uh, we will also help you out in deploying the A1 licenses for your uh, school and that is free of cost, fine? So the licenses are free of cost, so do not worry about that as well. OK, so uh, one of like, you know, the participant has requested for, you know, just to share the link at the end of uh, download participant certificate. So do not worry about that also. Uh, we'll share each and everything how you can uh, like, you know, download the certificate. So that is how we can easily do that. Um, one is like, you know, the question asked by the Pooja, uh, is it possible to use this feature if we have a soft copy of the book and uh, how? So uh, yes, we can uh, if we have a like, you know, soft copy of the book and uh, how we can. I will just tell you this feature because most of you are also using the mobile like, you know, on your uh, PC. So I'll just tell you how you can connect it from the mobile also. And if you have a soft copy, you can probably go to that one note. Um, uh, I'll just open it uh, here itself, maybe within the team itself. So if you go to that particular like, you know, insert option, there is a file or maybe the picture that you want. So you can take, uh, you can select this option from camera. So if you have a soft copy, you can place that particular copy in front of that camera so that it, it will take a click of that copy and then it will be load loaded here in this one note. Yes, Pooja, so you can do it effectively using this feature that is from camera. You can take a pic of it and then you can upload it here. Otherwise, we have a good option that is there in our uh, mobile also. So I will be guiding you on that also. We call it as a, a Microsoft lens, the office lens. So we can use even that software also just to take a photo click of that soft copy and we can upload it into a OneDrive and then we can use it here in this OneNote as well. Correct? So we can do that uh, as well. So I hope uh, this is clear to you, Pooja. Kya ye Hindi mein sambhav hai that I have already explained to you. Yes, you can particularly translate into Hindi also so that we can do that. So thanks Neha. You said that wow, it's very informative. So thank you and uh, let's uh, move to the another part here. <clears throat> so, um, so some of your colleagues that you're saying that uh, you're not able to join the links, you can share the link with them and then they can probably, uh, you know, join it. Uh, and uh, second one is asking, please share the guideline for Minecraft. Uh, so regarding the uh, like, you know, tools and technology, I will share one Microsoft Forms link with you where you can like, you know, uh, raise or put your query 
and uh, definitely we will get back to you and then we will also help you out in deploying and even you know how you can use all these technologies effectively. So do not worry about that because during this session, I hope you also understand it's not easy. Fine, but yes, when you will raise your query and when you will just uh, send it to us, then definitely we'll get back to you and then uh, we'll help you out in that as well. Correct? Okay, so uh, next is your. Uh, I hope that it answer all your queries and we will share the recording also after the session. Do not worry about that recording as well. Correct? Now uh, the next thing is uh, we have here the writing which we was talk which uh, we were discussing. The first is like you know at the same child then wrote this story based on the plan completely independently on one note, right? How so? This is how he can do it. So first he can use the dictate feature. So this is again one of the good feature we have in this uh, uh, Microsoft tools or the applications like let's say in one note. Now teacher has explained everything. OK, now student wants to write something and he is not good in writing. Maybe he is not good in typing. So how he is going to do that? Then what he can do, he can go to this home section again and there is a feature of dictate. So he can particularly select the language first, right? In which language he is comfortable, maybe Hindi, maybe French, maybe English. Right, so let's say I have just selected the English here and I need to just switch on and uh, I need to allow. Correct now. Whatever I am explaining, it will type the content for me. That is a good part. I need not to even write it, even I did not to type it, so it will automatically understand and it will automatically type. I mean the computer will type everything for me, so it will listen carefully. It will type the content for me and if you want to pause in between. So let's say maybe you feel that the carefully like you know it's added twice. Uh, so what you can do, you can delete one of the word or uh, maybe if it's the repeated one, so you can delete one, isn't it? So maybe if you want to do some correction, you want to do some modification, you can do it in that paragraph easily. So that is the best part here that you can use the dictate feature. Correct and all these features are available in the OneNote. If you go to this Microsoft Windows 10, right? And if you search for OneNote, not only in the Teams, it's available. You can also use this OneNote for Windows 10 as well. So let's say if I open this uh, Microsoft Windows 10, uh, here it is saying that there is no section. Let me add a section here. Let's say a dummy section that I have created. OK. And in that dummy section, I can create a number of pages here. That is the best part because if you use the soft copy or maybe in a, uh, the hard copy of that, uh, uh, like you know of your notebook. So what you will do in that case? So in that case, you can uh, probably have 100 pages of notebook, 200, 300, not more than that, but here you have like a number of pages that you can add and then you can start working on it as well. So here you have the dictate feature. You can use this feature. You have the draw feature as well. You can have like, you know, ink to shape if you want to convert. Let's say maybe you're using the draw to touch and you have just uh, used this shape and you can use this feature that is ink to shape. And now if you are drawing this, so now you see that it automatically gets converted into a beautiful circle shape. Let's say you have. Added one rectangle, so it's automatically converted into a rectangle, right? Similarly, let's say you are creating one triangle that is not up to the mark. Now it will automatically recognize and it gets converted into a triangle shape. Fine, so no more. You need not to add all the shapes from here. You can use this draw with touch feature if you have this like you know touchpad screen or maybe the stylus pen that if you are using so you can use it and then accordingly you can uh, use all these uh, shapes and first you need to enable this as well. Correct and let's say if you are writing something maybe like you know you are writing hello uh, maybe how are you so you can write it in this way as well. Correct. So that is one of the option that you can probably use it. 
So in this case, if you have used it, there is a lesser tool also. If you want to select this particular area or maybe the handwriting that you have selected and then you can convert it into ink to text. Now you see whatever you have written, it will get converted into a meaningful text. So let me show you once again how I have done this. So first you have written something. Let's say uh, I'll use this feature. Let's say the uh, not use this. OK, so I'm going to write it here. Uh, why it is selecting this? Just give me a second. OK, so here it is not allowing every time. Get selected. Select OK, so here I am writing something artificial intelligence. Is a. Huge term or a vast term, so what you can do here First, you need to just you know select this particular uh, uh, the paragraph that you have written with the help of this lasso select. Also, you can select it and uh, let me just select this. Maybe you can select it in this way. Correct. So then you can use this ink to text feature. So might be intelligence. It has not recognized that was not the correct because E it was not correctly uh, written. That is why. But otherwise you see that artificial is a huge term so that it gets converted automatically. So this is again one of the good feature we have that is ink to text. Similarly, if you want to use uh, this ruler line, maybe scale like if you want to draw uh, like you know if you want to draw a line here you can uh, draw the line as well right okay so let's say you can use this scale you can even rotate also so let me draw a line correct and uh, here you can rotate this ruler line and then you can open obviously draw a particular line so you can use this ruler also if you want and then there is a particular uh, feature that we have a math feature so let's say if you will write any equation like uh, i mean x plus y equals to 3 or x minus y equals to 1 you want to solve this equation you can use this maybe if you are writing any of the equation again you can write it here you can use this uh, let's say x square plus y square okay equals to uh, let's say 34 fine so let's say this this is how that you have written so again you need to select this uh, equation that is the first part and you need to go to this math tool it will recognize the equation maybe i need to write it again and then you can particularly solve the equation for uh, uh, the y or maybe anything so you can probably uh, do this and how it's been solved if you want to use this step so solve using the quadratic form so that is how you can use it correct so this these all are the features that we have and very well you can use it uh, the uh, particular feature that is ink to math or maybe uh, this particular feature Correct and even in the word also here also you have the same feature. If you want, you can use the math feature. I mean here as well, the similar sort of thing. Correct. Now if you want to check uh, this particular option, you can select the highlighter. You can select the pen and even if you want, you can check and you can give the uh, number to it or maybe if you want to give a feedback then and there so you can give the feedback. So these all are a part of writing skills right that you can use it with the help of these tools no matter if you have do not have this draw with touch still you can use the pen tool and with the mouse uh, easily you can check easily you can do some correction you can highlight so even you can do it within the no one note itself not only in the one note you can do it here in the word itself so again you have the same feature that we called it as a 
uh, this the classic ribbon. You can go to back to this home and here also you have this uh, uh, the pen or the highlighter. You can use this and then probably you can check. OK, so one thing is this now apart from that there is another option the dictate which we have seen now educator needs teaching students to write so you can fix everything is not productive encourage the student to choose what's most important tackling everything you know at once can be over helming uh, helming and uh, uh, want tools to let students uh, self assess their writing clearly see what to work on. So all these are like you know really very important. You can also use this feature that is improved uh, spell checker. At times students they do you know a uh, few of the uh, few of the like you know features that we have the spell checker how they can improve their uh, spellings. Uh, because at time what happened when we are typing then and there if anybody you know uh, giving the suggestions or if anybody is giving like you know or highlighting something then we can easily grab it and we can easily correct it. So similarly here also this is again one of the good feature that is there in the Windows 10 right. So let's say if I open the notepad also and uh, I am going to write it here something uh, like you know hello uh, now you see it is also giving me the prediction. So after hello, I'm going to write everyone. Hello everyone. Uh, all. Uh, I mean, I can say are you all. Fine, isn't it? So it is giving me all the uh, predictions here. Now if I use few of the terms like you know computers, so it will also give me some icons. Though in notepad, we would not be able to add the images. But yes, if you want, you can use this. So this is again a very good feature that we have in the notepad. So even you can use it not in the notepad. Basically this feature it's available like everywhere in all the applications. Maybe it's a word, maybe it's a one note, maybe it's a PowerPoint. It will give you all these predictions or the suggestion. Maybe when you are writing an email to someone, maybe you have heard or name of that Grammarly. So instead of Grammarly, this feature it's already available in the Windows 10. Fine, so you need to enable it. So what is that feature? I'll tell you. You need to go to that uh, settings first. OK, you can open the uh, settings here. Let me open this settings and from here you can set. Uh, you can uh, search for the you know text uh, suggestions. Uh, yeah, this one. This you need to enable it. Please make a note of it that you need to enable this option that is show text suggestions when typing on the physical keyboard. So whenever you are typing anything from your physical keyboard, uh, OK, you need to use this feature uh, that is the. Show text suggestion, so if it is uh, off, you would not be able to use it. So if you will just toggle it off, so it will not give you the suggestion. If you want like you know show text suggestion based on my language preferences. Let's say you have selected a Hindi English. So these all are the good uh, uh, feature uh, that is there in the Windows 10. So even if you want, you can add the language here like one is the English we have. Maybe you can add further more languages and with the help of keyboard uh, la layout, maybe by using the space bar, you can select the text suggestion like language preferences. You can select maybe Hindi or maybe any other language. That is again a good part for all the uh, teachers or for all the educators, right? So uh, yeah, this is one of the good option that I've just shown to you. Probably you can use this feature that is show text suggestions when typing on the physical keyboard, isn't it? So how do you like this particular features feature? It is good. Um, yeah, which site to use for cognitive services? Samita is asking. Uh, yeah, it is basically uh, for uh, we have the portal.azure.com. You can use that uh, site. Yeah portal.azure.com. OK, so can we have a for Telugu subject? So maybe we need to check. Is there any uh, like, you know, Telugu? It's there in that particular language or not. You can uh, probably check here. 
let me go to this. Um, even I can go here and search for where is that? Uh, you were just asking about this immersive reader. Let me open it. View go to that immersive reader. Let me just see if there is a talib telugu option. Yeah, here we have. It's a good news for you. So we have a Telugu option also. If you want, you can convert the whole document in Telugu as well. Yeah, so it's good for you. So if it you can use, it will make your work easy. Let's say you are creating a question paper and maybe in that Microsoft form you want to add. So you can just, uh, I mean, uh, create it here in the word or maybe in this one note and then you can paste it there. You can copy and then paste it, right? So. Um, yeah, Krishna, that uh, I have already explained this, that you can even convert it into any other language. There are more over uh, 80 above languages that it's there, isn't it? So you can do that. OK, so uh, probably you can do it and uh, do not worry about like in purchasing this software and everything. You can connect with us. We will guide you freely. Also, it is available. You can uh, uh, I mean avail this as well as if you are interested in uh, other licenses, we can even guide that as well. OK, so one of the question it is asking, how can we use writing tools for improving students and writing? So maybe uh, like, you know, you can use this draw tool uh, draw with touch so they can uh, write it there and then probably you can use it, isn't it? So this is how uh, you can probably uh, use is it uh, available in the Play Store? So uh, OneNote app, it is available. You need not to install it like, you know, from the Play Store. As I already said, you can go to that uh, Microsoft. I mean, this Windows 10 and directly you can enter, you know, OneNote there. It will automatically be there it's because it's already there in the Windows 10, right? So you need not to install it explicitly. You can uh, get this OneNote by default with Windows 10. OK. So uh, this is how that we can use it and. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so probably yeah, uh, can I work on my research paper using this? Yes, you can. You can use this for your research like all these tools. You can use it very effectively. The dictation tool and uh, maybe the writing tool. Fine, so all these tools that you can uh, do it. If you want, yes, we'll share this PPT also. Do not worry. Uh, we'll share a link uh, like of this PPT with you all after this session. Correct. OK, so these are the questions that I just wanted to take up. Maybe uh, please. Uh, uh, I'm just going to apologize because I would not be able to conduct uh, take all the questions at this moment. So that is why I have created one channel. Uh, the Microsoft form is there. I'll just uh, share a link with you if you have any doubt regarding that also maybe any technical doubt or maybe anything that you want or you need any assistance so we'll help you we have some couple of videos we will share with you right so that you can easily understand with those videos as well okay um, okay so very interesting very good okay now it's good for making worksheet. Yes, Geeta ma'am is also saying that it is good for making worksheet. How come that is also I'll show you one of the example for you know the kindergarten uh, like you know those who teach. Let's say what happened when we create a worksheet. Generally we add a square, we add a rectangle. So how easily we can do it? We can just uh, write the circle here. Now you see the predictions are also uh, it is giving. Let's say I'm going to add a triangle here. OK, uh, the uh, like. Rectangle now these are the um, shapes that I am like, you know, telling to the students. So what I need to do first, first let me zoom it or maybe I can increase the font of this fine. Let's say it is 48 or 36. Let me increase the font and directly if you want that computer should do a magic for you so that it will show the circle shape or the triangle. OK. So what do you need to do? You need to go to that draw feature. Uh, I mean, sorry, view 
you can open the immersive reader. You can simply click on this circle. It will show you the circle shape then and there. Correct. Now you'll see the translation in Telugu because I selected the Telugu also. If you want to select any other language, you can select that language from here as well. Correct or maybe in Hindi or maybe in other language. So those who are comfortable in English or maybe Telugu, they can easily understand. Now you see the triangle. Correct. You see the triangle. I mean the rectangle. If you want that computer will also read just over your mouse here and uh, just use Circle. the play button. OK, triangle. Rectangle. So it will read also circle. It will uh, basically give you the images also then and there and uh, then you can probably use this feature very effectively. So it will save your time as well as student will also. Uh, I mean, I mean, enjoy. OK. Uh, yeah, so. Kritika, ma'am said like wonderfully explained. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks to you as well, because you are all like all the audience <laughs> who is uh, like, you know, acknowledging and uh, giving their thoughts. Uh, OK. Um, yes, and now one more feature would like to share uh, here again. So some are uh, asking where you will send the PPT, where you will send this uh, uh, recording link. So at the end, I will share one common link where you will find all the relevant material. Do not worry. OK, we'll share it. Now uh, what we have here, that's now the. Yeah, the prediction, the spell checker that we have seen, we can do that. The hands on also we have seen now there is a new announcement that we have already talked about like dictation speech to text or uh, text to speech that is already there. Uh, editor in office. There is an editor in office also like for grammar uh, checking or the spelling. If you want like maybe you have opened it as online. There is an option like you know this basically if you see here it is giving or it is checking the grammar also that double check whether the noun is singular or plural. Fine, you can ignore also the degrees. I think this is 6000 degrees Celsius or maybe degree Celsius. So we can basically uh, do this checking the grammar check. How we can do it? We need to enable this. Uh, uh, editor, right? So this is basically the editor that you need to enable it and uh, you can check the spelling. You can check the grammar, correct? As well as uh, you can also do uh, or see all the refinements related to acronyms, uh, clarity, conciseness, formality and everything. Fine. Similarity, you can check for similarity to online resources also related to that. If you want to check, it will give you uh, the similar. Similarity also related to that. Maybe like you know text prediction here also if you want to switch it on, it will give you the text prediction here as well. OK, so this is how you can probably do that and whenever you are writing it will give you the prediction as well. OK, now uh, the these all features are available in the in uh, Windows 10 as well that we have seen the math, the communication. Now first is uh, we talked about the inclusive reading. We talked about inclusive writing. Now we will be discussing related to the communication how you are going to communicate. Let's say you are giving one of the uh, project or maybe you have given a project work to <clears throat> the group or maybe to all the student. So how they will start working on that particular uh, project? What you will do in that case? Maybe you are sharing that particular project on any of the social media group like maybe WhatsApp or maybe anything else. Why not on Teams? Why not on uh, uh, maybe like you know the word also the office.com that is a one common platform. So what you can do if you are giving a project work to anyone, what you can do you can go to that office.com. There are two ways to do that. Either you can open the Microsoft Teams. OK, and uh, what you can do you can go back to this uh, uh, this particularly home. Uh, sorry, you need to go to this file section and here in this file section. You can create a PowerPoint presentation and give a name to it. Let's say a project work. First you can create. I'll just uh, give you the planning here. You can create a team name here that is team A. OK, 
let's say here we have a team A. We're going to create in that team A. You can create a PowerPoint presentation. Let's say they are working a project work here. And if you want to uh, even do some authentication that others won't be able to do that, you can also do OK. Project work on AI. So to team A, you have given a project work related to AI. So how they will start working. So first thing is this is basically a teams. It will automatically be shared to a team A group. OK, and when you will start working on this. There is a particular option. We called it as a designer ideas, right? You will write artificial intelligence as a heading here. OK, and you will find that automatically you will get the designer ideas related to that artificial intelligence topic. Let me select this. OK, the first good part here that we have the designer ideas. It will automatically give you the moment you will write the <clears throat> The moment you will write the uh, like you know uh, the spelling of that particular or uh, the topic accordingly it will give it to you then you can add further new slides to it let's say you have distributed uh, five slides to uh, two three students so they are adding their own slide because this is like on a collaborative mode that you have already shared if you want to give some comments you can give if you want to do some conversation Fine. Let's say you are pointing to let's say the demo student because in this team I have already added uh, the student here. That is the demo student. Uh, I'll just write or mention. Uh, this demo student. Please. Add two slides, right? You are giving them the instruction that the demo student needs to add two slides here in this uh, PPT. Right, so you are doing collaboratively. You are sharing your work and very easily. It's not too difficult, isn't it? You have created a folder. You have added one of the PPT there and they can easily do it. OK, and. Um, <clears throat> OK, someone is asking like, can we add the videos also? Yes, we can add the videos also. I'll show it like in the one note and in the PPT we can add that video as too. So in PPT it is quite easy just to embed the video because we have this option that is just to embedding the video. Uh, you can just add the YouTube link here. Let me go back here and then add some videos. Uh, take a YouTube video, right? So let me. There are a number of videos that is giving related to Let's say we'll take this link. Oh, I'm going to take it. YouTube. So let's say there Uncle is Bria, a I... heap and heap sort video kind of thing. So what you need to do, just copy this link, but let me take it on AI. OK. And. Uh, let me take this. Of Edureka, right? This is one of the great platform. You can copy it. Uh, you can do it in OneNote also. I'll just show you. Let's say you can paste it. Press enter. It will be added automatically. We need not to do. We can play it even here in the OneNote itself. This is the good part. And if you want to enlarge it, that is also possible. You can enlarge this as well. Okay, okay. and if you want to open it in a full here. screen, you can also this do that. This video sums up the perception of artificial intelligence for most of us. But at present, we're at no risk of being. Yeah, so first thing is that you can add this YouTube link like within the OneNote itself, the all the YouTube uh, channels or maybe your videos also if you have created and uh, you can enlarge it as well as you can open it in a full screen mode also so that they can view it here itself, right? You can come back from the full screen mode and if you want to add in your uh, project work, right? That we are on which we are working. Where is that? I just opened it. 
So, here. So, I'll go back to my board. Where is that PPT on which I. OK, I was there in the here, so I can just copy it even here also and click on insert. This YouTube video will get inserted even in the PowerPoint very easily. We need not to do anything. And you can also imagine that how quickly I am creating, isn't it? Similarly, you can add one more slide and you can use the dictate feature also. Maybe you have uh, open uh, any of the website or uh, maybe anything that you want to speak on. Maybe any few word. Let me open the AI topic. What is AI? So what I can do, I can open that particular uh, this feature that is dictate. OK, and. Uh, uh, if I want to uh, like, you know, use this text to the uh, uh, like, you know, speech to text feature. So what I can do, I can use this and here I can add the text. So artificial intelligence is uh, intelligence demonstrated by machines as opposed to the natural intelligence displayed by animals, including humans. AI research has been defined as a field of study of intelligent agents, which refers to any system that perceives its environment and takes action that maximizes its chance of achieving its goal. Yeah, now you see how quickly I have added this paragraph, right, without wasting any time in typing. And it will also give you some designer ideas also then and there. If you want to go through like some more ideas, you can. Right, let's say this one. You can do that as well. Similarly, if you want to change the theme or font, we can easily do that. If you want to convert it into the smart art, that is also possible. We can convert few of the bullet point into the smart art also. I'll tell you how quickly we can do that. Let's say there are three bullet points that you have. Uh, maybe one is. Uh, Maybe one of the bullet point we have, let's say the uh, deep learning or machine learning. And then we have a deep learning. Correct. So let's say these two we have. So what we can do, we can just select it and we can right click on it and then we can convert it into the uh, smart art also here. Let's say this one. So it will automatically convert it and uh, if you want to convert maybe into any of the shape or this one, that is also possible. You can convert it in this form also. Here it is not allowing you, but because I have not added the bullet, uh, let me add it here. Uh, OK, so one of the point here is let's say uh, deep learning. OK, let's say two points that you have just taken. You can select it and then you can do the uh, right click on it and then you can do the proofing language also. You can translate also even if you want to translate into any other uh, language. We can even do that or Maybe the layout that you want to convert or uh, insert the shapes, we can easily do it in that way. Right, so coming back to this portion that we have just added this, we can delete it. Right, so let's say the students they have added. Now how they can communicate with the help of or they need to demonstrate it. So how they are going to check whether they are or they are prepared or not. Fine, so. This is basically possible with the help of uh, the feature that we have. OK, so what we can do, we can go back to this uh, option here. That is the play from beginning or maybe if you want to play it. So first let me 
play it also. Yeah, so one way is this that you are going to play this particular uh, video, but I want to prepare it. So what you need to do in this case, you need to first uh, close this and you need to go back to your presentation and what you need to do, you need to first of all go to that uh, option open in browser. Fine. Now when you will open here in browser itself, then you will find a feature of rehearse with coach. OK, the feature that you have that is the rehearse with coach. So first is like how you are going to rehearse with the coach. Uh, you can just prepare it. You can play it also. Let's say I am going to play it from here. So rehearse with coach is basically a, a feature. And it will give you a real time feedback. Let's say I am going to explain this paragraph and instead of explaining, I am just reading uh, like you know the whole paragraph as it is. So it's basically throughout you know a reading of this paragraph. So official intelligence is intelligence demonstrated by machine as opposed to the natural uh, intelligence displayed by so now you see that try to not use uh, like fillers and it is also giving one of the filler here that avoid read i mean this slide reading you need not to read the slide as it is it is giving you the feedback then and there okay now uh, next is if you go back here, like let's say this is the next slide, the machine learning and the deep learning. So I'm using a lot of abbreviations here. ML, DL. Uh, or maybe I'm giving a lot of pause here. So let's say so it will give you the feedback once you are done with your presentation. Then. At the last. What you will get, you will get a report. So this is the whole summary that you will get here and the summary says that how much time that you have spent, how many slides uh, that you have rehearsed and how was your pace, uh, the fillers that you have used, you know, during the presentation mm, like I mean, so please avoid it and your average pace over time. How was it A repetitive language? that you have used. How was your pitch inclusiveness? So uh, inclusiveness like you know the language was excellent. So that's why you will get a kind of reho uh, report where uh, you will get to know that where you are lacking or maybe if you are good enough. So basically you will get that and you will fo follow this particular uh, option here as well. Correct. So this is one of the good feature we have that we call it as a rehearse with coach you can use this as well as if most of the parents they do not have the uh, software or maybe like you know the maybe they are attending your session on their mobile you can use this present live right so you can use this there it will provide you a code and that code you can share with your uh, parents or maybe the students so that they can easily uh, access right so this is the code Right now it is showing that zero have joined. If you will enter this link on uh, the browser. You may try on your own, maybe on any of the browser. Just try this particular link. <clears throat> OK, you may just copy it and then probably uh, let me share it with you. So this is a link here like ppt dot uh, ms here slash. H W A T four. MRT. So this is the code which I have shared with you. OK, if you click here, it will automatically redirect to that window and here it will show me that. Yes, how many of you have joined, right? So this is one of the good option that we have and uh, they can join live. Uh, the session no matter they have. PowerPoint uh, application on their PC or not fine. That is not required. They can easily join from their tab. They can easily join from the mobile and everything. 
OK, so I hope this feature is also quite good for all of you. That is the rehearse with coach and present with live. Correct, so this is how you can do that. OK. Um, so there is one request from the Kajal that she's saying that um, uh, uh, please make a note that I received 11 certificate except Microsoft Innovative Educator Certificate. Also, I did not receive the link for today. I got it from one of my friends. Maybe at time what happened Kajal, I just want to iterate here. Maybe when you fill the form uh, because it's a auto generated then and there when you will add a email ID, it will automatically be there in your mail itself. So maybe at that time, maybe you have not entered a correct email ID. Maybe you have missed one of the particular any word. So at time it happened because if all of them have received, so probably because if it, this is the automated, uh, so naturally you must also have received. So sorry for the inconveniency if you have not received, but though you have already received it from your friend, so uh, the good point is that you have joined the session. Yeah, Kajal. And uh, definitely regarding the certificates, please make a note of it. Everybody during the session, it's not possible just to handle all the queries then and there, but I will be sharing a form link fine after the session. And in that link, you need to raise your uh, concern or your queries and definitely we will get back. OK, do not worry. Our team is there just to support you. Correct. OK, so uh, next thing is this. That is how the uh, point uh, session. Uh, OK, uh, yes, the meeting is getting recorded. Do not worry about it because there are n number of things that I am going to tell you and a and, and number of features. So maybe if you are not able to get it here in this, uh, like maybe as a, on a live mode, what you can do, you can go through the recording once again. Right. OK, and uh, the next one is uh, basically the one thing is. Next part. So the presenter coach like somebody was asking on like, you know, academic research, how you can work with your research paper so you can use all these tools. You can uh, research it. You can use the uh, tool, the Bing uh, search engine. That is how we have like in this Microsoft Edge. You can use it and uh, you will collect um, the content from there. You can explore fine. You will find some tips and tricks into the presenter coach also. OK, uh, just to help teachers and students give more effective presentations so you can uh, accordingly work on this particular tool. Correct now uh, the next is your student can turn on the rehearsal mode that I have already uh, shown to you. So this is like one of the example like student has created uh, and he needs to demonstrate on this early solar system exploration except for the seventh grade science class, right? So they have explored and uh, then and there it was giving the feedback that you are using too many fillers like you know basically one. So just avoid it and uh, try to summarize these slides key messages. So these all are the feedbacks that he was getting and uh, at times that you feel that students are too um, I mean their pitch is too low, isn't it? So it will also give you that that uh, the pace that you need to speak a little faster fine so that everybody can uh, understand easily. OK, so this is how that we can do it, how we can uh, open the teams app in. OK, I'll just tell you that as well. Right. So this is a rehearsal report which I have just shown to you that you can use it. And yes, when you are presenting it, you can also turn on the live captions, right? while presenting on the live mode. Uh, here you can open the live captions here when the meeting is on so that they can easily read the captions as well. OK, that is again a good part here. There is a Microsoft Disability Answer Desk also. Uh, fine, so just go through Text. This Microsoft video. Disability Answer Desk provides ASL support. The narrator signs. Microsoft is committed to revolutionizing access to technology. 
for people living with disabilities, impacting employment and quality of life. Automatic captions appear on the screen. Patrick appears on the screen. My name is Patrick. This is my name sign. I was born deaf and I grew up in mainstream schools with interpreters. It's important for me to be fully involved in my workplace. 100% access to communication such as captioning, PowerPoint, and interpreter. The Disability Answer Desk has deaf technicians who are fluent in American Sign Language and they are the experts with Microsoft products and its accessibility features with Windows and Office. Narrator Signs. I need to set up PowerPoint live captioning. Patrick and the support representative signing. Okay, the first step that you need to do. At Microsoft Disability Answer Desk, we work with users and empower them with the use of accessibility features. Deaf technicians will be able to work with customers on setting up the accessibility features and product related issues. Narrator signs. See the top part where it says file, home, insert, and next to it, you will find slideshow. Click on it. Patrick expands the subtitle settings dropdown. Patrick signs. Patrick and the support representative signing. I am thrilled. I finally understood what was happening. The two-way communication was perfect. Using the third party, I struggled to understand, and there were some misunderstandings. At times, they don't understand what I'm saying. The communication wasn't always clear. I decided to try using the Disability Answer Desk, and I had a good experience. You went through the process quickly. I can finish things faster. Perfect, thank you for helping me. Thank you for calling Disability Answer Desk. Anytime you have questions, you can call us to learn more about accessibility features in Microsoft Windows and Office. Thank you and goodbye. Text, Disability Answer Desk is ASL friendly. Contact us directly via video phone, 503-427-1234, Microsoft logo. So uh, this is how the uh, captions, you know, uh, or maybe disability answer desk like facility it's available you can even access it text microsoft disability sorry so you can even you can access it uh, like you know i'll just share this link as well text. with you now the microsoft translator in the classroom that is also a great tool you will also enjoy that is the multilingual class right let's say if you are in a class so i think uh, you also need to be interactive with this what you need to do from your end i will be sharing one code with you and you need to select your language maybe some of you are telugu right uh, 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 are comfortable in telugu language maybe some of you are comfortable in hindi maybe some of are comfortable in french so you need to select uh, your language i'll tell you how to connect it so please watch this carefully and use this app because anyhow this app is going to help like you know n number of students and the parents when you are conducting a ptm parents teacher meeting when you are conducting a orientation session for them so that they can understand in their own language so you see they have their own mobiles and they have selected their own languages correct so i will also guide you how you can do it so basically there is a, a microsoft translator app OK, so uh, what we need to do here, if you are using it on mobile, you can also uh, open it on your mobile. What you need to do there? I'm going to open the. Uh, so first I am going to open this translator app from my PC here, right? This is the translator app. That I have just opened it. OK, now I want to connect with you all. So first there are few features that we have like translate history, conversation, phrase book that we can do. So if I try to translate something, let's say from English to Hindi. So if I say how are you? OK, so it is basically uh, sorry, we could not translate that. Please try again. Uh, let me refresh. Yeah. 
why this application is not working for me right now. Let me open it again. This is the app that I've already installed it. OK. And uh, if it is not like, you know, on the app right now, if it is not working, we can open it as online also that we have uh, translator dot it. OK, so you can also open it translator dot it. Oh, sorry, not that trans. What's that? Translate dot it, sorry. So it is. Uh, translate dot it so you can just open it on your uh, PC or maybe on your mobile, right? So I am going to start the conversation, but you need to join the conversation. You will when you will join the conversation, you need to enter the conversation code. So I'm going to share the code with you. Just give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> So I can log in with my account here as well. So I can log in here with this Microsoft account. Yeah, I've already logged in and I can enter my name here. Niti Vedi, and I'm going to select the language English, but when you will click on this join conversation, you need to enter the code and you need to select your language, maybe Telugu or maybe any other language that you are comfortable with. Let me click on start. Right, connecting to the session. It's just giving you the examples done. Hello. Fine, so. OK. Now, so if I want to type anything, so this is the code that you need to type A T Z L. J. So I'm going to uh, so please team just share it in the chat window. The team code that is capital A, capital T, capital Z, capital L and J. So this is the code. So if you can just enter translate dot it uh, in. This one translate dot it if you type. On the on the browser itself dot it I have sh uh, shared the link also with you in that chat window. So please use this link. Go to translate dot it and when you have opened it, you need to enter your code. The code which I have already shared and it's there on the screen also. I'll show it to you. Yeah, so some of you have joined. Rahul has joined. Lima has joined. Himani has joined. Good, good to see. And I hope that you have uh, selected your language, isn't it? So um, Nidhi is also saying like, you know, hello. So if you have selected your language and if I say something here, uh, hello everyone. So here it is like hello everyone. So I mean, you must be uh, getting all your messages in your languages like somebody has selected Telugu. Somebody has selected has uh, as uh, uh, maybe in uh, Malayalam. Yeah, so this is good to see. I mean, this is very good app. You can even try with your uh, students and even uh, when you are conducting the PTM. I, I am see like you know a number of responses here. It's good to see it's I mean very interactive that you are participating. I'm very happy to see. Yeah, this is the way that you know I am encouraging you and you are also participating. So in a similar way you can uh, like you know encourage your students, your parents because uh, I mean your kids parent when you are conducting the PTM. If you will tell them they can easily participate and they can easily enjoy the session. Believe me because when they will get uh, uh, the like whatever you are speaking and you are telling to them. Uh, it let's say if I just open the mic also and then and there it will be. Typing you know the whole content in your language. Yeah, so how is this tool is interesting? 
good to see you ma'am <laughs> great so very interesting webinar thanks 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 so basically uh, yeah uh, it is like that that you can send you can share all your experiences with this app and you can conduct your uh, meeting so let me uh, connect my phone also because if you want uh, that me to show you some of the tools um, here uh, let me open this uh, phone I'm going to connect with my phone here. So. So this is my phone screen here. It's just loading the phone screen, right? And I would like to show you parallelly, you know, the apps that you can use it on your mobile also. Let's say if I want to uh, use uh, the translator app, so it's there in my mobile also. How we can use the translator app? So it's I've already installed it on my mobile as well. So you can search for the translate. Uh, Yeah, this is the translator. I can open this app on my mobile also, right? So I would say yes. If you want to join this particular. Maybe I want to join the session. I can click on join. But I need to enter the code here also. I can type like, you know, the. Uh, code here that is. A. Capital T capital Z. L and J and then I can join the session here. I'm going to select the language. Let's say. Uh, Malayalam or maybe Telugu anything. Let's say Telugu correct and then enter. Now if I type uh, here something so it is asking for your uh, name also to enter because I have entered the name that is I'm the parent of let's say Prisha. OK, so click on enter. It will just show me that I am already connected. So here it is saying there are too, um, too many participants. Maybe most of you have already joined more than 1000 or 2000. So that is why it is just showing me. Otherwise uh, I can very well join this and uh, the session and then we can easily connect with each other. So this is one of the app that you can open it on your mobile as well. And the next one is uh, the application that you were asking for the one note. So that is also there on your mobile. You can easily open it from the Play Store or maybe like you know the uh, if you want to use this Chrome, you can easily open the uh, this tool that is the office. So office I have already installed it here. I can open it. OK, and you will see that office.com. It's already opened on my screen. Yeah. So you can uh, see I can access like Outlook, Calendar, Admin, OneDrive and all these stuff. Even I can also uh, open the OneNote here itself. I can click on this OneNote as well. Now any of the particular uh, OneNote file, let's say the Minecraft. I have just opened it and it will show me the Minecraft uh, document that I have created in my OneDrive, isn't it? So you see these all many files. If I want to open any other file, anything, uh, maybe any other CBSC session, let's say which I am conducting or maybe how to redeem a code. This is the PPT. I can open it and uh, this will get opened on my particular PC or oh, sorry on my mobile. Now I can access it on my mobile also easily, isn't it? You can access the OneNote also because I've already installed a OneNote explicitly also as well. I'll just show you where is the OneNote. Yeah, so OneNote is there. I can open it and I can access it the OneNote on my mobile as well. It will just take few minutes just to update the app. Maybe there are few updates in that app. In the meanwhile, it is updating. <coughs> so I need to sign in with the uh, multiple accounts. So that is how. But you see that the netbook uh, notebook it get opened here and I am able to see all the notebooks here basically. Fine, so you can search for any of the notebook. 
Yeah, so these all are the notebooks here. You see that uh, we have these many notebooks that I've already created here. If I go back, you'll see the uh, notebooks here and uh, maybe let's say the flask. I can open it. I can open the section. So in the whole notebook, we have created few notes here so that I can access it on my mobile as well. So you can easily open it and uh, then probably you can view it on your mobile itself. So this is like, you know, you can create a PDF from the OneNote you can share. So this is how you can use the OneNote in your uh, mobile as uh, also. OK, effectively. And. Uh, one more tool that office.com that I've already explained translate also that I've already explained. So you can use all these many tools. The teams that you were asking like, yes, we can open the teams on our uh, mobile also. We can open it and it will show you all the uh, teams channels and the teams that you have created. It will show you all the calendars like you know you have the session. It will automatically display fine. You can chat with someone. You can do it like on your uh, this uh, particular team when you're chatting with someone. Yes, if you want to open any of the file that is also possible. Let's say if you want to chat with someone, uh, maybe uh, this particular option that I have selected. <coughs> if we want to add a image here or maybe any attachment, just click on this plus symbol. You can attach any of the file media, anything, maybe the form link. So you can just use all these features even on your mobile also. This is the good part that you can use it uh, on your mobile. Yeah. So this is how you can use uh, the mobile feature. I hope it is clear how to use the mobile feature or I mean all these Microsoft tools in your mobile. But yeah, if that particular, you know, the smart mobile that you have, so you will find more relevant uh, like you know of all these tools. Yeah, so this is how uh, I mean that we can connect with and we can use this app translator. See office lens. It's also there in the your mobile. So if you just open this and uh, let me open the office lens here on my mobile also. Let's say. I'll go to this and I'll search for office lens. Yeah, so this is basically one of the tool that we have the lens. We can click on it. You need to allow. And now you can just access your maybe you can capture the document also any of the document that if it is already there in your mobile, you can capture it. Even if you want to use the whiteboard, you can capture the whiteboard also if it's there. Uh, the actions fine. Maybe if you want to extract a table, if it is there in the table, maybe you want to read the content. So many more feature it's there in the uh, uh, like you know lens also the office lens. If this, this is a table, it will recognize the whole table also. That is the good part, correct? So we can use this like let's say I'm just accessing this mobile and uh, here I am accessing the table. Yeah, so it is just capturing the uh, capture the extracted test, so it will capture it. Now you'll see uh, I need to press continue. Yeah, so it is just extracting the table. And you will get it on your mobile itself straight away and you can save it in uh, OneDrive or maybe you can save it on your mobile uh, space as well. Yeah, so that is a good part that we can do it. Maybe it is just taking little bit time to extract the table is a huge content. Let's say. Maybe you can show any of the content. Now you see the table is there. Correct. You can copy even if you want to share with someone. You can easily do that. So this is like one of the good feature that it has just extracted the whole table. You can copy it and you can even share it. If you want, you can easily do that. If you want to review the table, 
you can easily review it. All right. So this is a good part that we have. You can end this session as well. So this is how we can use the office lens on our mobile as well. I have shown all these examples, the hands on also I have shown. Yeah. This is all about uh, the. Application now this is the time to. Uh, access um, and to share all the links with you so that you can easily uh, get to know how to. Uh, redeem the code and everything. Let me open the another slide this time. Uh, just give me a second. Oh, where is that? Let me open that file here. OK, so here I'm going to open the uh, file. <clears throat> so this whole folder I will uh, be sharing with you. Do not worry, right? We will be sharing this whole folder with you also so that you will get everything here. So now uh, the first thing is that we need to uh, use the particular option here. That is the steps to redeem the code, how you are going to redeem it. So I will be sharing the code also. I'll tell you the step. Please focus on the step because after the session also you can redeem it, right? So there is a site that we call it as a learn.microsoft.com. If you have the Hotmail ID or the Outlook ID, you can use this ID here, the Hotmail or the Outlook. What you need to do parallelly? Let me open it, do it, uh, open it for you. If you would not be able to open this learn.microsoft dot com that I have opened. I'll share a link with you so that uh, uh, yes team please share a link with them so that they can access it. Uh, here. So I, we have shared a link with you. It will directly uh, redirect to the. Um, this window. It will automatically redirect to this window that is uh, learn.microsoft.com. Let me open it and sign it. OK, so when I will enter, I have already shared a code in that announcement. Our team has already shared it, so you also need to. Oh, sorry. Let me also redirect the same link. Uh, where is that link? This is the link which I have already shared. Please use this link. The center. So it will redirect to that window. First it will ask for the email ID. I'm going to enter my, but in your case you need to enter your Hotmail ID or the Outlook ID. Fine. Because earlier education.microsoft.com was working, but now here. We have the uh, learn.microsoft.com right now. I have al already signed in. It will automatically pop up this code. Uh, the code is this EZ double Y Z R right? So uh, please share the code also with the participants so that later on they can share it or they can use it. E double I mean EZ double Y Z R and then press enter. This is the code and then you need to click on redeem. Now when you will click on redeem, it will just take take a couple of minutes and then you can go to your profile. Now when you will go to your profile, you will see uh, the certificate of today's session that's related to the accessibility, special education and online learning. Fine. So if you want to take a printout, click on this print icon and it will show you the certificate you can share it and you can tag us please do not forget to tag us also okay and it will be showing here under this achievement uh, tab correct where it will be showing under this achievement tab and 
if you are not able to uh, do it, I will share this document with you. So what you need to do first, you need to. I'll just tell you what you need to do first. You need to open this. Uh, let me take this highlighter. First, you need to log in into this learn.microsoft.com. Then you need to go to that profile picture in the upper right. I will show you where. Um, this will be your icon. You need to click on the profile here. OK, now when you click on profile. After that, you need to go to the achievement tab where I need to go to that. I'll click on profile. After that, I need to go to the achievement tab. This is the achievement tab. So click on achievement tab here. And here you have the option of redeem your code now. So in this step, it is saying that redeem your code now. So these all are the five steps that's very easy to redeem your certificate. I hope it is quite easy for you to uh, receive this because I will be sharing this. Uh, uh, OK, straight away, uh, please team straight away. You can share uh, this PPT. So in this PPT, you will find this link also. Please use this link. This is the code. And uh, you will find this word document also uh, this word document fine. So I'm just sharing the PPT as well as the uh, document this. Steps document OK, so. Uh, team, if you can just share it uh, right now. Yeah, so I have shared uh, this uh, link with you the step and everything and uh, even I am also sharing the PPT link also where you will uh, find the code as well as the uh, recording of the session. So recording probably I would not be able to share it, but you can use the same link. Um, I'll just share one more link with you where you will get the PPT as well as the recording. Just give me a second. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I have shared uh, the particular link of the uh, PPT also as well as the uh, recording of the session. So recording obviously would not be able to upload it. Uh, right now because obviously we are in the live session, but yes, after the session I will be uploading this recording then and there. So maybe after uh, half an hour you can check uh, or you can click on this second link where you will be uh, finding or getting the uh, code, the uh, PPT as well as the uh, recording. So I believe it is clear to everyone. If it is clear, please like this link as well as just share your some message. Yeah. Please like this link so that. I would be able to. Understand that yes, it is clear to all. Fine. This is one common link. You will find everything here in this link. Please save it and one form link I am just sharing in case if anyone is interested in like any of the particular maybe you know get to know about the tools uh, licenses Minecraft anything related to that or maybe any other technical query that you have uh, so probably you can just connect with us and uh, <clears throat> then uh, probably you can connect with us so I will I will be sharing that link also with you in that chat window. Please save it. OK, where is that? I'll show you here in the PPT as well. It's there. Right. So this is the post your query. This is the link. Let me change the color here. Yeah, so these are the two things that we have. You can mail also if you want. Otherwise, if you want like you can. Use this form for sending any query 
right so i will be sharing uh, please team just share it there in the chat window the same form link yeah so the form link also i have shared in case if you are not able to understand maybe any doubt any clarity that you want because right now to you also understand it's not possible but yes later on we'll connect with you but please post your query so that this is again you know a query related form that we have created for any education related query so let's keep in touch fine because what i believe in phone that everyone is busy and uh, maybe i'm also quite like occupied with the uh, uh, maybe a, a training sessions our team is also occupied but if you will just post your query then definitely will revert you on that right and uh, the second thing is uh, the feedback link also i'm going to share please do not hesitate in sharing the feedback uh, we have also given the time here just to uh, <clears throat> make you all aware of all the tools and technology so this is the feedback link which i have shared and our team has shared so please uh, do not forget to share your feedback your useful feedback how was the session and um, to microsoft or maybe to cbse as well so that uh, we'll share this feedback to uh, the team and uh, uh, yes anything else that you require maybe in future from us from cyber addiction family please do not hesitate in uh, reverting back to that particular you know uh, query form that we have shared the link correct so um, okay it's all uh, i mean it's done from my side i have shared as i said that i will share each and everything all the links in case still if you have any doubt or any uh, problem please raise your query in that query form will get back to you or maybe you can mail us also on this mail id info at the rate or you can raise your query on this link correct so i hope the session was uh, quite enriching for you and it was wonderful also even i also enjoyed a lot because you participated well and there were n number of uh, uh, like you know the engagement or maybe like you know the questions and the uh, doubts that you had but maybe some of the queries uh, we were not able to give the answers then and there but definitely after the session please post it and then we'll revert you so thank you all and do not forget to attend the, our, our coding sessions also somehow are highlighting the yesterday session because if you just go through the document which is there in the cbsc because few of the sessions are taken by the or conducted uh, by other uh, another learning partners so maybe we do not have that particular information so i only have the information of like you know today's session and the upcoming session related to the coding that is the part a okay so regarding that if you have any doubt please mail us and do not hesitate in mailing us yeah thank you everyone once again have a great day ahead bye 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 all of you let's meet and connect maybe in the coding session okay if you have not enrolled and if you have not registered please do not forget to register it because that session we have on monday yeah so we have three sessions on it thank you and have a great day ahead bye bye